but uh, news that a teenager from Cumbria has unearthed a piece of wartime history has caused ripples on the other side of the world. Max Hazelhurst was looking for wildlife when he found an Australian airman's dog tag from the Second World War. Incredible. Um, he's since tracked down the owner's family as Peter Marshall has this story. It's a walk Max Hazelhurst will never forget. The 13-year-old was searching for bugs and snakes on Blackcomb Fell in the Lake District when he discovered something rather special. The path gets really rocky and there was I maybe saw about that much of it. So I picked it up and I thought him maybe thinking it was a dog collar or something like that. And then I saw the um, the actual tag bit which had the, the name on. He'd found a Second World War dog tag or military identification label thought to have been lost up here in the 1940s. Max and his family put the details on social media and soon discovered it belonged to Ernie Wills, a warrant officer with the Royal Australian Air Force. Oh, well, he's pretty, pretty amazed, to be fair. I wasn't expecting to, to find that when I came up here. Max also discovered Ernie's surviving family who live near Perth in Australia, and the story has reverberated around the globe. Three Australian sisters have told of their disbelief after a piece of their family's wartime history was uncovered on a mountain in northern Britain. The fact that he showed his mum and his mum's put it on Facebook. Um, as you can see, we are emotional, but we're very, very excited. Today, Max had the chance to chat with one of Ernie's grateful daughters. So, Max, how on earth did you find that tag? Uh, well, I was just looking around for, like, I was looking for adders. Yeah. You made our family so happy. Oh, thank we're, you. Um, we're, we're just beside ourselves. We're with excitement and tears and, you know, we're so proud of you. Uh, he loved, because he was a geologist, loved spending time, a lot like you, I think, uh, exploring the environment around him. Um, that's why we think he would be so proud of you. Sadly, Ernie died at the age of just 43 in a car crash near Alice Springs. But thanks to a Cumbrian schoolboy, his family now have another memory of him to treasure. It does feel quite good, you know, to give them it and, yeah, just something for them to remember him by. And, yeah. Peter Marshall, BBC News, Askham in Furness.